How you doing? Matt Patterson, IFBB Pro Physique competitor, here to hit some chess. We got Jeff Side here, another IFBB Pro, representing Northwest with the two Mint Physique Pros from the Northwest. We're three weeks out from our, from actually the first competitions for the IFBB. I'm three weeks out from the Europa Pro. Matt here, what do you got? I got the Culver City Grand Prix coming up April 12th. Looking to take uh, first place, so I have qualify for Olympia. That's got right. my boy right here motivating me, inspirating. Yeah. We're here to take it to the next level. Today we're gonna be going through a chest workout. We're gonna kind of show you guys our prep that we go through, you know, weeks following up to the show. So stay tuned, guys. And really break it down, show you how our workouts change as we get closer to our competition. All right, we're gonna start in the barbell incline. My boy Jeff's favorite. We're gonna start with a warm up set of 20 reps. Like I said, we're gonna stay high volume. Second set, first work set will be 15. Second work set will be 15 again, 12. 10 on the last set with a drop, uh, focusing on time under tension, really controlling the weight, never really creating any momentum through the range of motion. Another good cue to think about when you're pressing, think of bending the bar. Exactly. Great cue and pushing through your thumbs so you get more tension and focus on the chest. Right, work set number one, 15 reps. Another key thing we didn't point out was making sure your shoulders are retracted through the whole set. So your shoulders don't come forward, lose tension on your chest. That would be protraction. We want to keep them retracted so you get tension through that whole press. Don't think of extending your arms. Think of engaging your chest. One more, one more good rep. Like we said earlier, this is relatively lightweight. Uh, not necessarily about pushing load. Just really activating your chest, trying to take all your secondary muscles out of it, keeping the primary pecs engaged. Uh, right now, pretty short. Nothing over 90 seconds, about a minute. So basically when he's done, we're racking the weight, I'm going to my next set. Three more. Let's go. Last one, Matt. <laughs> all you. I think that's the number one mistake most people make, Jeff, huh. is people think it's all about how much weight you lift. Exactly, man. They just go through the motion, dude. They're right. Focusing on the muscle, the mind, muscle tension. Engagement of the muscle is what we're after. Yeah. What people think is like when they think of progressive overload, they think that just going up weight is doing it. It's progressive overload is when you're going up weight perfect with form. perfect form. All right, bud, here we go. Let's get 10. One, two, up. As far as macros right now, I'm right under 400 grams of protein. Uh, my low days, I'm at like 150 carbohydrates. Fat staying around 75. So it puts my calories somewhere between the 2600 to 2800 calorie range. Um, next week that'll drop down about 24 to 26. Uh, like I said, I have one cheat meal a week. It resets the metabolism. Um, it's a really high carb meal with some fat in there, like something like a pizza and a frozen yogurt. That's what I've been doing. Nice, nice. Yep. I'm on like 2,300 calories, a little bit smaller than Matt, so <laughs> we're kind of cutting it down. I'm at like 45% protein, 35% carbs, and then 20% fat. Uh, protein, I'm at like 275 grams, then carbs are like, carbs about 235, and then fat is pretty low, fat's at about like 65. So, usually I cut for about like four weeks before the competition. I'm usually like leaning around so I don't have to cut for too long. That's what works for me. For last set here, we're gonna hit a drop. 225 for eight to 10. Peel a couple wheels off 135 to failure. See what that long rest did. Gave him a little extra power. I got 12 on that set. I don't know how that happened. Now we're gonna go to a superset. We're gonna do a compound to an isolation. Yep. I'm gonna hit the dumbbells. 
work a little more stability. Also, we're gonna change the line of tension, bring the dumbbells a little tighter in, work more of the midline. We're gonna pair that up with some cable flies, Sweet. working back up on the upper chest. So do a pronated grip with a slight angle in the finish. Set that up, come check it out. Set it. And then bring it forward. Reason why I'm moving that bench forward, the key with cables, the beauty of the cables first is constant tension. Whereas a dumbbell, you're gonna lose it through gravity. Gravity is your sheer form of resistance. Whereas cables, if I stretch way back here, I still have tension on the chest. Whereas a dumbbell, you lose it from here to here, right? Yep. Whereas the cables, you can come all the way in and get that good squeeze. I position this bench to create longer line of tension to really hit that upper chest. Get a big stretch, slight bend, palms go down to relieve the pressure of the shoulder. Coming around, leading with the thumbs. Keeping a big arch through the whole set. Don't let your chest cave in. Because once again, it goes to your arms and shoulders. Keep those shoulders locked back. Yeah, when you roll the shoulders back, Notice the natural arch and lower back. Doing. Keeps the posture, keeps the tension. All right, so we're gonna hit the dumbbell press first. Yeah. And then on the flies, we'll go when 12 to 15. That, do you like, do you like holding the dumbbell a little bit higher up, about right there? For midline, yeah. For midline? Yeah. Right, that's, that's what I was thinking. And the reason why is because it tilts the dumbbell at an angle slightly. So then your tension's here versus flat, right? So these are, the, these are the tricks of the pros. A press is a press, a pull is a pull. It's how you change the grip and the angle to isolate different parts of your chest. Your body's your canvas, you're the artist. What do you want to do? Very good, nice smooth tempo. And uh, yeah, bump that weight up, not too crazy. Because I would go 20, honestly. It's misleading on the cable. You know, big strong guy like Jeff, see he went for the 30. But as we talked about the constant tension, what, do you can, what can you dumbbell fly? Probably said his hand, probably 70s, 80s. Whereas cable, night and day. Night and day. So this 20 is gonna feel about 80 pounds. There we go. 12 to 15 here. Talked about the grip, keeping a slight angle, 45 degree. And finish a little farther forward. There you go. Feel that? Right there. Slight bend in the arm. A little more bend on the stretch. There you go, and then extend as you squeeze. There it is, good. Good. Four, good. Pick up your pace just a tad. Five, good. Try to relax that grip so the chest's doing all the work. Six. Glad you didn't do that 30, huh? Seven, good. Keep your shoulders back, I'm here. Let's get two more good reps, two more good reps. No arms, all chest. Good, last one, big squeeze. There it is, control, and relax. Ah. Squeeze the bench between your shoulder blades. Now you got good retraction in your shoulders, so they're pinned back. Nothing but chest here. And I'm opening the hand to illustrate. So you're kind of like pressing a little bit. Slight, yeah, it's like a press fly yeah, combo. Right into motion, okay. So you're following the line of the cable. Let's get three good reps. No speed, I'm here. Two. Up. One more, bud. Let's go. One more. Up. Finish. Finish. Good. Striation, striating. Nice. Shoulders came forward just a tad yeah. there. Came locked. No filters, those are real hundreds right there. I got little measly 50s coming your way. Two. Come on, Jeff. Good. Up. Up. One more. One more. One more. I'm here. Big push. 
Good hold, Ooh. control. Nice. One more, easy. Shoulders, squeeze them back, yep. And relax your hands, I'm here. I'll help you on that last little bit. Get to here and I'll help you. Good, one more. All control, I'm here, control, control. Squeeze, squeeze, I'm here. Nice. You're only as good as your spotter. If you have a shitty spotter, it ain't gonna help you grow. There's a thing called force reps. We live by them. We didn't get this chest by not doing force reps. They're so if you're like- for a reason, dude, you gotta use them. Right? So it shouldn't be 11, advantage, 12. It should be, Jeff, 11. One more, Jeff. Exactly. Good spot, there it is. They're not there for social hour, baby. Nope. Single arm superset here towards the end of the workout. We're going to go single arm, really isolate. Uh, our focus here is midline. We're actually going to cross the body as we press. So cross body press, really focusing on the midline of the chest and upper chest also. This is the one press in the gym. You can let the shoulder kind of come forward. From that press, then we'll drop the weight and go to a cross body fly. Squeezing the chest, that's what's physically moving my arm. My hand is dead. Open palm illustrating that. There it is. I think you're leading with the inside elbow and the thumb. Nice. Very good. Tad lower, tad lower. I'm gonna finish. There it is. All right, so we're gonna do a little finisher, a little burnout here. Uh, Jay Cutler's trainer created a style of training called FST7, fascist stretch training, seven meaning seven sets. We're gonna do a physique version. It's five, physique five version. sets. We're depleted. We're depleted. So basically it's uh, 10 reps of contraction with an isometric hold. Um, you can go up to 30 second holds. We're gonna go 10 second holds on these. Um, rest as needed. Try to go through all five sets without stopping. Um, we're gonna use the uh, back of the bench here, uh, close grip to really isolate once again, the line upper chest. That's our focus today. Squeeze. Three, two, one, set two. One more, Jeff. Two more sets, three, two, one, here we go. Last set, two, one, here we go, this is it. One more bye. Hey. Okay, we're gonna hold on top for 10. 90 degree flexion the elbow for 10. All done. Four, three, two, drop in. 10, squeeze the chest. Get ready to press. Three, two, Vicious. Top of the coast.